Now we need to model the rest of this part. And here, if you see, we have this other ring or hinge similar to this one with few differences, not much. So let me uh, check how many vertices we have here. And I believe I didn't delete any of the vertices, so I got the same number of vertices. So I can scale these two. Let me make sure. Ignore back facing is is on. Press F3. Yeah, we need to select. We need to get back to right view. And do this rectangular selection. And I need to make this a bit smaller. Something like this. Now I get back to polygon mode. And instead of making the same modeling technique, I will just copy this group of polygons and use shift and move tool and put it here and it will be an element press ok now I need to rotate it activate snap and put it to its position get back to vertex mode Let's see again so you can see. And I can create a bridge between these two edges. But first, let me get rid of these polygons. Press delete. And because we have the same number of vertices, we can create a bridge between these. But let me first push this element forward. So let me bridge them one side at once. So I select this side. Use bridge. Uh, no, I don't need two segments. Or maybe I can use two segments. I can change the position of these vertices later. And this edge, the side. I take the three edges because they have the same angle. So the bridge will work the same way. Bridge. Here. Bridge. and finally this side and bridge so let's get back to right view now I got what I want without too much of work without using guides now let me get back the vertex mode and check it's more rounded and smaller so I need to select this element oh, actually it's connected now let me select it as vertices and use the scale tool to make it smaller and push it forward don't worry about this 
because in any way we will make this thinner. So get back to right view. And let me make these more rounded using the scale tool. And I need to push it towards this direction. Now, I need to change how the shape looks. It gets started from here, wide, and then ends uh, tight. So let me do it using the scale. And this will be larger. need to push this and this too Now, I need to make it look curvy like this because it's not straight. So let me do it. Let me push this slightly down. We may later need a few cuts. And we need to do the same on top. 
So we go to top view. Let me scale this down one by one. Maybe you can start from here. So it looks the same way, starts from the right wide, the end to the left tight, and this one, okay, maybe this too. So this is the second piece, but let me change or get rid of this or create a bridge inside it. So look here, we have this opening right here and same for this part. So I need to get back to polygon mode, select this group polygons I guess these two and same here we check Oops, I lost my selection because I forgot to press control. So again, we need to use insert first. Okay, and then extrude with a negative value okay now I need to scale this down so we don't see it good last step is to select the overall object get back to right view select him and I need to change the uh, pivot point I need to put it here so I can rotate it easily so I go to hierarchy affect pivot only 
and let me put this right here and that's it let's continue the next tutorial